Surveillance footage captured the moment Josh Hamilton's pants suddenly burst into flames at a Kentucky gas station. So first it was the hoverboard fires, vaping explosions, and now most recently the Samsung Note 7 fires that have been caused by lithium ion batteries. So what do all these battery fires have in common? Let's start with the hoverboard. Now if we f just look up hoverboards on Google, the first products we find make the price of a hoverboard somewhere between 200 to 300 bucks. On average, a single hoverboard has a lithium ion battery pack with roughly 18 to 20 lithium ion cells. So at the basic price, with one lithium ion cell costing $7 on average, a battery of this size costs between 126 to 140 bucks. Now, if you're a Chinese manufacturer mass producing these hoverboards, then already most of your profit is going towards the battery. This is where Chinese hoverboard manufacturers take shortcuts to reduce costs. Buying genuine lithium ion batteries in bulk can save some money, but what's even cheaper for these manufacturers to do is just buy counterfeit lithium ion batteries from battery pack manufacturers and thereby save price. This creates two problems with the battery system. For one, these counterfeit batteries are designed with costs in mind, and most safety factors, such as the charge-discharge rate, are disregarded, making these batteries extremely dangerous and prone to overheating. Secondly, the batteries are often improperly wired together with cheap charging connectors, as you see here. Counterfeit batteries such as these are often branded with Samsung or Panasonic logos to deceive the buyers and make them think that these batteries are safe. In fact, one of the more memorable occurrences is when one of these hoverboard batteries literally was filled with sand. Here's a good example of improper wiring. Notice how the circuit board is wedged in between the batteries. If a wire happened to come loose, it could short circuit the circuit board and damage the batteries, which in turn could cause them to over discharge because now the circuit board that was once protecting them is no longer in use. Incidentally, this same issue happened to one of my lithium ion battery packs most recently because I forgot to protect the circuit board. Luckily, we were able to remove the short circuit before the batteries caught fire. Now here's what a proper wiring job looks like. Notice how the circuit board isn't facing the terminal and the terminals are covered with a protective mesh. This battery pack is much less likely to burst into flames. And there's been a similar issue with e-cigarettes exploding in people's faces. Once again, a lot of counterfeit batteries are used for vaping because they're and many of these manufacturers falsely advertise that these batteries have an incredibly high battery capacity. Here's a classical example of a battery that allegedly has a 6,000 milliamp capacity. Keep in mind that the highest achieved capacity to date is roughly 3,500 milliamps. Better yet, here's another counterfeit battery with a 9,500 milliamp capacity. So most people buying these batteries think, hey, I'm going to buy a battery that's going to get me five hours of vaping. Yeah, right. It's not going to happen. The capacity on these batteries is usually much less than advertised. A 5,000 milliamp battery is probably somewhere between 800 and 900 milliamps and it's not going to get you much time of use. Additionally, since many of these e-cigarettes consume so much power, the high discharge often causes these counterfeit batteries to explode and they're not even meant for high discharge purposes in the first place. So many of these lithium ion battery fires that we see which are more than often caused by counterfeit batteries, lead many people to believe that the cylindrical lithium ion battery cells are dangerous. This gives a false notion that many of the products that use lithium ion batteries, such as Teslas or RC vehicles, are more dangerous. But as long as you get your batteries from reliable sources like Panasonic, the chance of a battery fire is much less likely. Panasonic batteries have higher capacity and better discharge properties than the standard counterfeit versions. Additionally, they're pretty durable. The cells used in Tesla batteries are even more resilient. Here's a video where a Tesla cell is drained down to zero volts. Now normally, draining the battery to zero volts is quite dangerous, but since the Tesla cells are so well designed, the cell can be discharged to zero volts and recharged without overheating issues or significant battery damage. Even in the case of a short circuit, Genuine lithium ion batteries have several protective measures to prevent them from catching on fire. Now take a look at this lithium ion that was just shorted out. In the unlikely case that a battery short circuits, the terminals heat up and the electrolyte fluid begins to boil. 
The vent holes in top of the terminal allow the battery to depressurize the electrolyte steam, thereby reducing the battery capacity and making a pressure explosion much less likely. In the end, you're more likely to see a small fire shoot out of the battery rather than a large explosion. While this still can cause damage, it's a much better option than having a battery explode, which results in a shrapnel cloud. But in counterfeit batteries, this vent hole safety feature is often ineffective. Here's an internal view of the battery. Notice how the crimped can holds the entire junction in place. If this crimped can is too tight, it can cause the battery to build up pressure without releasing pressure from the vent holes. It's also important to notice that the two terminals, represented in red and gray, are separated by a very thin gasket. Now, if this gasket isn't installed with the right precision, then at some point in the future, the two terminals will probably touch, thus causing the battery to short circuit. The central problem with all these issues and product recalls is not the lithium ion batteries themselves, but rather the improper design protocol that goes into each product. In the end, the notorious lithium ion battery that most of us have heard of are not as dangerous as they're made out to be, as long as you know how to use it and where to get it from. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.